When it comes to the strongest sambo wrestlers in the world, the hero of today's video is undoubtedly one of them. After all, this guy is a three-time world sambo champion, and he won his first champion title at the age of 19, becoming the youngest world sambo champion in history. The name of this famous sambo wrestler is Igor Kirinui, or as he is called in sports, Circle Suhabita. Igor Kirinui started his career in wrestling at an early age, as he himself explains. At that time he wanted to go in for a sport that would raise his authority in the yard even more, and the choice fell on Sambo. It was the output of the film about the history of Sambo Invincible that made a big impression on the future champion. Besides, he got a good training camp and experienced Sambo wrestling instructors in Smolensk, where he lived at that time. In 1984 Igor moved with his family to Moscow. A year he was training in the judo section and then entered a special class of the school of Olympic Reserve Sambo 70 where thanks to experienced coaches he got those skills and techniques which will help him to become a champion in the future. After three years, in 1987 Igor Kirinoy won the Spartakiad of Pupils of the Soviet Union and in 1988 he became the silver prize winner in the All-Union Youth Games which has brought him the rank of Candidate Master of Sports of the Soviet Union. Then in 1989 Kirinoy again goes to the All-Union Youth Games, which this time he wins and has received the title of Master of Sports of the Soviet Union. After this victory, in subsequent years, Igor reaches a new level of competition and begins to try his hand at international competitions. So at the World Youth Championship in 1990 Kirinoi won a silver medal and in 1991 he became gold. That year he also quite unexpectedly won his first World Senior Championship and received the title of Soviet Union Sports Master International Class. In 1994 Igor Kirinoi won the World Sambo Championship both as an individual and as a member of the Russian national team, and then won his second world title. In the same year he was included in the top 10 athletes and was awarded the title honored Master of Sports of Russia, and one of the largest Russian sports magazines even called him Mr. Sambo of 1994. In addition to Sambo, Kirino is also fond of sumo wrestling. He was one of the originators of this kind of wrestling in Russia and was the key factor in the organization and promotion of sumo in the country. And he believes that sumo helped him to develop both his physical skills and hone his mental approach to competition. Kirino has achieved no less results in sumo competitions than in sambo, repeatedly became a winner and prize winner of Russian and World Championships. He was the first Russian sumo champion, a silver medalist at the World Games, and took bronze three times at World Championships. But, as Igor says, that in his athletic career sumo was an accidental addition, they were taken by acquaintances, mostly those who suited their weight and fighting style. There were no sumo specialists at that time, but it was a well-known sport. I received a phone call and was invited to participate in the European Championships in Germany. The invitation coincided with the Russian Sambo Championship in Kaliningrad. In Europe I competed in the light category, 85 kilograms. In the end we lost but I was only motivated. I did not want to go home defeated, so I also joined Sumo. In 1999, Igor Kurinoy began working on the achievement he was most proud of, the Boritz Academy, which opened its doors in March 2000. Kurinoy immediately gained a reputation as an outstanding coach with a somewhat unusual training methodology, and turned his brainchild into one of the largest gyms in Russia, bringing together many top athletes. Though Kurinoy became a coach, he wasn't going to stop his competitive career yet. So, in 2001 he won his third Sambo World Championship, and in the middle and late 2000 as he was still competing in Sambo, Judo and Sumo, but in the course of time his age took its toll and gradually his attention shifted to the coaching work only. Igor Kurinui had more than 100 competitions in his career. In fact, he remembers every fight to the nearest second, but he prefers not to single out any of them because they were all important, and it was necessary to approach them responsibly. 